I looked out the kitchen window and I saw this bloody big white truck. And I thought, either the neighbours are bloody moving or maybe a pop group's coming to town. I had no idea this sort of thing went on in racing. And I can see the way the guy drives that car, he's at the top of his game now, this guy. I don't know, is it Mike? Is that his name? We are at the base of the Crown Range, which is a pretty picturesque and iconic piece of road that runs between Queenstown and Wanaka. Pretty frickin' pumped after that first little run. For a 50% run, I was. <laughs> i tell you what, it's done what about a billion people probably wanted to do on that piece of road. Wow. It's got to be the best bit of road in the country. It's a road that they don't shut down very often. So it's pretty sweet to have this opportunity and put Mike through his paces on it. Original drifting, how it started in Japan, was racing over the mountains. and Exactly that, it was just going so fast that the cars would break traction. Okay, so what we're doing now is uh, we've closed the road at both ends. We're just making sure there's absolutely no public and um, making sure that everyone's gone, really, because as you can uh, see from the film, uh, he's going too fast to have anyone anywhere near us. There's one zone where it's like rock wall, so I'm trying to get as close as I can to it. My time got maybe a little bit too close. Nothing about a spray cam won't fix. Just a light kiss. Yeah. So the ones that were really working were that section we got going where he'd overtake us just coming into that corner. So we've got a range of cameras. We've got a Cineflex up in the sky on the chopper. Yeah, occasionally he's um, he's dragged off the, the helicopter, which um, doesn't happen very often. But um, I guess when something's got four rotary engines bolted together, it, it's probably going to have some horsepower. So the key to good Cineflex is you need a really good operator, and you need a really, really good pilot, and an amazing producer. Uh, then we've got a bunch of GoPro Hero 3s, which are getting rigged throughout the interior of the car. And just trying to put them in... Um, yeah in sort of unique places where you may not necessarily have seen the car from before. The very cool camera we've got on the ground though is the Phantom, so we can shoot two and a half thousand frames per second. Yeah, at those sort of speeds you get some pretty cool stuff, you get flames and ultra slow motion because it's a little bit wet today, you know you get a lot of the water kicking out of the back of the car. Then we've got Ben Ruffle, our DP, it's shooting on a Scarlet camera and he's getting on and off the chase vehicle. So the idea with the chase vehicle is that we're really just looking for little moments. Yeah, you do, I'm really just focused on the monitor, so you don't realise what you've been doing until you cut, and then you realise what's going on. Weather like this is good for my guys. <laughs> they don't have to change so many tyres, but obviously we'll it uh, adds to the performance of the car a lot slower. And saying that, I'd say we still would have got to 140 in the super tight switchback section. So, yeah, sun's going to come out, and then we're just going to really lay some smoke and rubber up Crown Range, which is going to be awesome. <laughs> Obviously with dry conditions, it's super fast. We're running a 4-3 ratio in the rear end, so we're maxing out 232 kilometers an hour. So it's freaking, this is the fastest car that's ever been on a narrow road with bush and paddocks and cliffs on each side. It does make me a little bit nervous. Um, some of the corners are quite tight. And, um, you know, I know he always pushes at 100 Oh, it's definitely scary. Yeah, it's the adrenaline is just pumping the whole, whole way. Oh yeah, it's a dream. Words can't describe how insane that hour was. That first section was uh, super challenging. The next section we maxed out six gear down some of those straights. It's like race time attack sort of styles. And then getting into the third section where we just had the best skies, the best weather, the best car, the best team, the best crew, and just executed something that's going to be just amazing to watch.